What's up guys? Brian here. I'm gonna hop in the cab real quick and then uh, we'll get started on this video that I have planned for you guys. Okay, just wanted to set you guys up right there. So this video is titled Pros and Cons of Owning and Operating uh, Dump truck business, excavation business, um, slash any business really. Um, cause the points that I'm going to cover, um, pretty much anyone can relate to them. Um, whether you own a lawn care business or you, um, you know, own a plumbing business, pretty much any of these can probably, uh, you know, relate. What's up, Brandon? Excavator's going good. I uh, got a job coming up by the end of the week, so we got it all ready. It's all loaded up. So I'm going to go over the pros and cons. I just made a small list to help keep me on track. Um, and then you guys can chime in too and ask questions while I'm going through the pros and the cons of owning and operating your own business. So let's start with the cons first. Um, let's get those out there. Uh, when there is work, you got to do it. I mean, that's one of the cons. You don't get to choose all the time. Not 100% of the time. You know, when there's work, you got to be working. You know, that's just the way it is. It's feast and famine. You know, so in the summertime, you better be working hard. So when the winter rolls around, when there ain't no work, you're safe, right? You have money saved up. Um, that is one of the cons of running and owning and operating your own business. Um, the feast and famine. A lot of people do not know how to budget, right? So that's one of the cons. I have no problem budgeting. And I love that. So that's also a pro for me, right? But it's on the list of the cons because it is hard sometimes um, knowing like at the end of summer, you have this big pile of cash and you can't really touch it because you don't know how the winter's going to go. You don't know if you're going to have work. You know, those are all cons. You don't know when the work's going to be there during the winter time. So you have to have a savings for that. Um, one of the other cons of owning and operating is liability. As an LLC, if someone were to decide to sue me, they can only take what my business owns because it's a limited liability uh, here in Washington. So I can't really speak for any other states because I don't know all the laws. But here like in Washington, if someone were to try and sue me, they could take everything that the business had, but they wouldn't be able to sue me personally and, you know, try to steal the other uh, investments that I own or that type of thing. They could sue the business. And uh, that's a that's a big kind of a stress, you know, um, in the world we live in today. There are lots of people that are trying to take advantage of people. And, you know, you just got to keep an eye out. And, you know, do your homework before you do work for somebody. Do your homework. And you got to be a good sense of a character judge, you know, when that type of thing comes up. Um, there is some stress in owning and operating your own business. There's stress. There definitely is stress. Especially when you first start out. Um, whether, you know, are you going to be able to make your payments on time? Are you going to be able to pay your mortgage? That type of thing. Um... So there is stress, but it all goes away once you start learning how to plan, right? And that's one of the other cons, planning. Um, it takes a lot, a lot of planning to run your own business. Um, financial planning, tax planning, business strategy. Um, but that's also a good thing too uh, for people that are kind of control freaks like myself. I consider myself kind of a control freak. So I love to plan things out, right? 
but that is on the list of cons. And my wife said, I'm home too much. <laughs> that's, that's one of the cons my wife wanted to add. She wanted me to add that. You're home too much. Um, in, in the wintertime, yes, I'm home a lot. In the summertime, that's not the case, right? In the summertime, I, I'm gone. 24 7 day and night working 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 you know putting in the time so now um some other cons um that i'd like to add that i didn't that i forgot to write down um you pretty much have to do everything yourself if you really want to make profit if you really want to make a good profit you have to do it all yourself everything everything you have to do it all yourself um, because the moment you send something away, well, and you have to prioritize too, though. What's up, Blake? Um, when you have to prioritize the, you know, kind of where things are and you have to, because you doing everything yourself, you can lose money that way too. You know, so you have to, you have to prioritize. If I do this myself, am I going to make more money? Am I going to save myself more money than I'm costing myself if I ha if I didn't have somebody else do it? You know, so that's just something to think about. I did a wedding parking lot so far. Um, that was that was a decent job. I was there for three or four days. Um, actually, no, no, that wasn't even the biggest one. The biggest job I did with my dozer, I was I cleared a home site and I probably moved a few hundred thousand yards of dirt. Um, you have to check that one out. The, uh, home site, it's job site to home site. I think that's what I labeled it. Let me check what these, I'm trying to go along with your guys's, uh, questions. How are you doing? How did you start? And the dump truck business, not to get you off subject. I'm doing great. I started by buying a POS, uh, dump truck. It was only $8,000. I worked my butt off. Check out the playlist. Everything I have done is in that playlist. And all the guys on here, they can they can testify. I, I started from nothing. Yeah, started from nothing. And, you know, I just worked my hardest. Did everything myself that I could, you know. And I have a lot of friends and family and a lot of mentors, people that I ask for help. And they are willing to help me out. You know, obviously, because I have helped them out. That's the way it works. Um, so you got to work on everything yourself. Sometimes that really sucks because, you know, if it's raining or snowing and, the, you know, you broke a drop, you broke a drive line and it's pouring rain outside, you're the one that's going to crawl underneath that truck and take those U joints out in that mud puddle. That's going to be you. Uh, you know, if you blow a line on your excavator, that's going to be you. You're not going to call up Pape Machinery and pay them $180 an hour to come out in their service truck because you will never make money if you pay other people to do your work. So just man up and just learn to love the experience of doing everything yourself. You got to learn to love it. I mean... So I want to get to some of the pros because I really like to focus on the good things about owning and operating my own business. Um, there's lots of money in it. If you own your own business, you can charge people fair and make a lot of money. You can make a lot of money. Um, and there's a saying that I've heard lots of times. Um What not hundreds of thousands, just thousands, hundreds or thousands. I'm not sure what it was. I didn't calculate the amount of yards I moved. Hundreds of yards or thousands of yards, not hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to confuse anybody. Thank you, Keith, for clarifying that. Yeah, I know. I meant I meant thousands or hundreds. I'm not sure. I didn't. It was a lot. We dug down. It was like seven feet in one corner right straight down we pretty much it was this hill right and we dug down and pulled it all this way and flattened it all out i mean we moved we were there for three days moving dirt so i mean 
with the dozer and the excavator. It wasn't just the dozer. I mean, I was pulling stuff with the excavator with that big chunk of metal I got. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Um, you can make lots of money. Um, I'm home more, right? I have the authority to decline a job if I don't want to do it. I am the one at the end of the day that says, I don't want to do that. That doesn't look safe. That is not going to pay me enough money. I mean, there's just tons and tons of stuff that uh, I just got a message from my Facebook. Possibly a business customer. I have to get back to them after this. Um, so you have the authority to choose the jobs you want to do for the most part. Obviously, there's going to be stuff you don't want to do. Just man up and do it. I mean, there's just stuff that you're going to have to do, right? But you do get the end say, yes, I'll do it. Or no, you can go pound sand, you know? Another pro is equity in my business, right? So obviously I've done my whole business with cash. I did not do any debt or nothing like that. So everything that the amount of progress and growth that this company grows, it's all mine, all mine. So if I decide to sell this business or, you know, I decide to, you know, do anything like if I want to sell equipment, it's all mine. It's all equity, which means it's basically like a forced savings account. Like when you buy a house, you pay the bank a certain amount per month for a mortgage, and then you can turn around and sell that for whatever it's worth, and that is your money. I mean, the the amount of equity you have in it, that's what you get to keep, right? So owning my own business, I'm building equity in in a business, you know, obviously, you know, it may not be worth that much if I decide to keep my business small, but if I grow my business, that equity is going to be more and more and more. And it's forced. It's not like I have a choice. It's just when you acquire equipment, your equity goes up, your net worth goes up. So that's a big plus in my book. Um, another pro that I personally, this is one of the main reasons why I started my own business is a future for my kids, right? In the world we live in today, kids, they go through high school and then next thing you know, they're out of high school. They either one, get a basic job, two, they go to college, right? And go into debt. Most of them go into debt and then they get, an, they get a basic job when they get out, and then they got all that debt to pay off, right? Um, so I, I started this business so I could provide a better future for my kids when they get out of school. They'll have a place where they can go where the opportunity will be up here instead of down here, you know? Because let's just face it. You know, when you get out of high school, you're entry level, you're getting minimum wage, you know, unless you know somebody, hello, McDonald's, can I submit an application, you know, or I want to work at a warehouse, forklift, you know, flagger, you know, ditch digger, shovel holder, you know, you're starting out entry level. Obviously, my son is growing up in this company. By the time he graduates high school, he's going to have leadership qualities that normal kids won't have. He's going to have uh, more opportunity to just jump in as, you know, a foreman or, you know, obviously he's going to be working in the business his whole life. So, you know, it's not like he's just jumping into it, but he kind of is, you know what I mean? So... A future for my kids. I think that's a big pro. And you know, maybe they don't want to do the business. That's totally okay. I've built enough equity that I, if I were to sell some pieces of equipment, they could totally go to college and have that paid for and do whatever they want to do, you know? So a future for my kids, I think that's a good thing. And you can, you know, when you work for somebody, obviously you can plan for your kid's future, but you don't make the money 
as an employee that you make as a business owner. So, um, another pro is you can have toys for the business. And what I mean by that is all the equipment that my business owns, I can use that to do personal stuff if I wanted to, like, you know, my, like you guys know, I have 40, I have 10 acres in Shelton. I get to use my equipment down on my property, right? The business paid for the excavator and the dozer. So I get to use that stuff. You know, if the business wants to buy something for advertising, you know, advertising, you know, let's say I just want to buy like a hydroplane boat or something, you know, for advertising, the business can do that. Right. And it's a write off, you know, so that's a big pro for owning a business. You get to own nicer things. Um, obviously they're for your business, but you do get to use them in your personal life. You know, I mean, that's just, that's just one of the pros of taking the risks. You get the payoffs for it. Uh, another thing is you get to choose who you want to work with. Yeah. You get to choose who you want to hire or fire. Um, you know, so when you're at a company as an employee, you don't get to choose who your coworkers are. Your boss gets to choose that. As an owner, you get to choose who you hire or fire. You sign the front of the checks, not them. So you get to decide. You know, so if you don't like somebody's attitude, hasta luego. You know, obviously you have to learn to work with people. You know, everybody has bad days, but you get to choose, generally speaking, who you who's going to work with you, right? That's a pro. Um, I already touched base on the tax write-offs as a pro. Everybody knows there's tax write-offs. You, you know, you everything you buy pretty much can be a tax write-off for your business almost. Um, one of the other main motivators for a lot of people who start their own business, and I I can sympathize a little bit with this crowd. Um, it's kind of like a revenge thing. You want to live better than the people that, you know, made fun of you in elementary school or high school or, you know, you want to have a better quality of life than them, right? So you want to live, sorry about that, guys, got disconnected there. Um, the, you want to live better than the people that, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I told you so, you know, like you made fun of me my whole life. Guess what? I'm the one driving around in the Lamborghini or whatever, you know, I'm not saying, you know, everybody owns a business for that reason, but that is a major, a major, uh, motivator, you know, when I first started, I wanted to make, you know, before I bought a dump truck, I wanted a job that I could make a hundred thousand a year at. And I posted on this online forum and everybody laughed at me and made fun of me and said I was high and I was smoking crack. And you know what? So guess what I did? I proved them wrong, right? I just, I did it. I own, I bought a dump truck and I made it work. And then I made six figures in six months, right? So there's that factor of that that is a pro. You get some sort of accomplishment. You feel accomplished. You know, uh, that is a pro. Uh, one of the other pros is uniforms. <laughs> I don't know how many businesses out there, their uniforms is, they are lame. Like the last company I worked for, their uniforms were lame. I hated their uniforms. I mean, the pants were, they got their pants from this uniform place. They were always baggy or they were too tight. They were, you know, they just look horrible. They look cheesy and stupid, right? They're not even practical sometimes. Uniforms, that is a big plus. I get to choose what my uniforms are, right? If my dress code is jeans and a t-shirt, that's my dress code. You know, with high vis, that's what I did. High vis t-shirts, you know, with comfortable, right? 
when you work for somebody, you don't get to choose the uniform. <laughs> they choose it for you. It's like, it's like when slave, like slave owners, they made their slaves wear certain things. You don't get to choose as an employee. As a business owner, you get to make those choices of the uniforms. That's a big plus. Um, another big pro is respect and honor, right? So people respect you more. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but when you walk into a room as an employee, you're an employee. Yeah, you're doing a good job. You're a good citizen. Congrats. When you are a business owner, people look at you different. Like they totally have more respect for you. Like they're like, wow, this guy's, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but respect. You totally get respect. But one thing you will get, and I guarantee this, when you first start your business, you're going to get a lot of critics and a lot of people that think you're not going to make it, right? Once you make it and you start making it, and you are consistent, the respect goes from here to up here. I mean, people will introduce you as, you know, oh, this guy owns a business. You know, he's an entrepreneur. You know, there's just certain people are gravitate towards you more, right? Than if you're just a company person or an employee, you know, or a warehouse guy. You get a certain level of respect because you demand that respect because you earned it, right? You started your own business, you took the risks, and you made it work no matter what the circumstances were. You made it happen, right? So people give you respect and you earn a sense of honor for that. Another pro is knowledge, right? You learn more and more and more about how the world works how people think, you know, how things are, you know, you learn more about the economy, about, you know, there's just so many things you wouldn't even think about that you have to think about, you know, that you just learn when you're running a business. You know, you, you just learn so much more stuff. The amount of knowledge and experience. Experience is another one. You get to experience a lot more you get to meet more people, you get to uh, interact with people more, you know, you get to experience so much more in life, I feel like. Because when you're, when you work for a, a company, it's nine to five, you know, or five to nine or whatever it is. You go to work, you're a zombie. You do everything the exact same every single day. As a business owner, that's not really, I mean, there's a routine, but your routine is not the same. It's totally different. Totally different. Um, there's a lot of thrill in running your own business. Um, the last pro that I want to touch on, um, and I think it's one of the biggest ones for me personally, um, your ability to help other people goes from here to way up here. Because now, not only can you just leverage what you have to help other people, but now you have a business that can also help you do, you know, service for other people or help other people. Um, you know, there's just so much more you can do to help other people when you run your own business. Um, you know, you can offer your services. You can do things for free. Um, you just... You can make people smile way more because you can actually offer them something that you wouldn't be able to if you were just a company person, you know? So you get to help people out a lot more. Let me get to this last question that I just seen. How's the business looking for 2019? Am I going to run old machines or new machines? The business is looking up. Um, we've definitely, uh, the first two months were really slow. I pretty much did nothing except for maintenance. Um, we had a really hot week a few weeks ago and we worked every single day. It was like a week and a half almost. 
Um, we did really well that week. Um, but things have gotten kind of slow again. We're just waiting for the rain to stop. I mean, once the rain stops, I just know business is going to take off like a jet. Um, I do got a few jobs lined up. So I feel like there's three levels of how work goes. There's no work, there's medium work, and then there's you're swamped, right? There's no real, me it's kind of like none, a little bit, and swamped. That's just the way it goes. I mean, there's no middle really. Um, but I feel like we're, we're on the brink of taking the jump from little work to being swamped. You know, because just last week we didn't do nothing really. This week, I know we have one job lined up for the weekend, and we have another job lined up that could be next week, and I know we have a demo job lined up, but that's like a month out. So the schedule is starting to fill up. It's really just starting to fill up, um, and I've been hitting the advertising pretty hard lately, so, you know, things, obviously, you know, the more you advertise, the more things pick up. Um, also there's kind of like a ratio. If you advertise too much, you don't get your full money's worth out of it. Uh, so, you know, those are some of the pros and cons. Now I'll give you guys, uh, four minutes, three minutes to ask me some questions and, uh, we can get all you guys questions answered. Um, please pound that thumbs up button. I really appreciate the support, guys, and I try to bring you guys good content. This video was requested uh, through a Facebook message the other day, and I just wanted to address the pros and the cons of running and operating your own business. Um, with me, nothing new, really. Uh, we got the dozer book back together. We got the excavator tip-top shape. It's on the... I replaced the hydraulic filters, the fuel filter. Uh, yeah. I mean, we were just pretty much doing maintenance. Um, one little small update. My neighbor put in a fence. So that's pretty sweet. So right now he's kind of on the good side right now. He's trying to be my friend, you know, so I don't see any problems right now with that so you know fences make good neighbors so other than that guys uh you got two minutes ask me any question you want to do i'm planning on doing a update video for how much owner operators make uh once i hit that full year mark or it might not be an update but it'll be something along the lines of how the year went type video uh, where I show you guys my books and pretty much show you how the my first full year of business went. Um, I never would have dreamed that it would go as good as it did. And, you know, <laughs> thank you guys for your support, you know, because you guys helped push me through those, those dark, depressing times when I was just wrenching on the dump truck and it seemed like it was never going to get on the road. And, you know, I felt like I was never going to get the frame fixed. And, you know, the drop axle was just toast. And anyways, you guys helped push me through. And uh, so, anyways, guys, you got 30 seconds to ask any questions. 30 seconds. Or if you're just watching this after the fact, put your questions down in the comment section. I'll try to get to them. Um, it's been harder and harder for me to answer some of the, the questions in the comments. There's just been so many. Um, the channel is growing exponentially. Thank you guys for sharing. And uh, you guys rock. And I appreciate you guys' you know, support. Hitting that pound button. Uh, pounding that like button. And the subscribe button. It is a dog-eat-dog -dog profession. You got that right.
eat or be eaten. And I'm going to leave that with you guys.